Alright, we're back here. Uh, this is our UFOpedia. I haven't, uh, haven't actually looked at this before. But you can kind of see, here's the Sky Ranger. Uh, it gives you little blurbs on all the different stuff you have. And as you research stuff and figure things out, these blurbs increase. You get more information. So, a uh, troop transporter, the fastest of its kind, with vertical takeoff and landing capability. Doesn't look like it can do that, does it? Uh, the interceptor. This is our combat aircraft with dual po po. This is our combat aircraft with dual pulse detonation engines and specially shielded electronic systems. The best available Earth-based technology. Uh, obviously, it's. Uh, Still, the aliens can do pretty much damage even with their small craft. This is our missile, one of the missiles, Stingray. There's another, uh, another missile. So this is a short distance one, 70 damage. This is a long distance one, 100 damage. It's got a longer load time though. I might should uh, switch over to Avalanche. Cannon, this is just a, a gun on the, uh, the ship. Tanks, I probably won't use tanks very much. Uh, maybe I will. I don't really plan on it. Not Maybe I'll manufacture some. But uh, your your soldiers gain, um, you know, as, you know, they get, they get ranks up, they get higher stats. The tanks don't get higher stats, so it's kind of nicer to use the soldiers because they get that higher stats. Another tank with a rocket launcher, a regular pistol. I'm not sure in the last other playthroughs how much I actually read through this stuff. The heavy cannon is a devastating but cumbersome weapon. Its versatility comes from the fact that it can take three types of ammunition. Armor piercing, incendiary, and high explosive. Maybe I should have used those more. I'll have the opportunity to do it now. The auto cannon combines uh, the heavy cannon, and the auto cannon combines the versatility power of a heavy cannon with a faster fire rate. But it's less accurate. Oh, and you can do auto shots. Yeah, here's our laser pistol. Grenades, I should use those too. Proximity grenade. Anyway, whatever. Let's, uh... I don't think we have much on any of this. We can look at some of this stuff later when I research it, but... You know... I don't think there's anything else other than that. We'll have to research it. Alright, so when we last left off, I was sending, uh, we had failed a mission pretty handily, although we did not lose the Sky Ranger, thankfully. We did weaken the aliens, at least I'm hoping. Oh, I almost thought it crashed there, I'm glad it didn't. Alright, so someone has pistols, I'm sure. We'll just go ahead and change them out. I guess you can keep that. You can keep that. A rocket launcher. Uh, okay, first of all, let's get rid of the uh, regular pistols for anyone who doesn't need it. You don't need this. We don't need any electro flare flares this time. I have no problem with completely blowing the hell out of the aliens. If, uh... If someone's got a rocket launcher against a low insectoid, you know, I want to win this mission this time. So, I will blow them up with a rocket launcher, if need be. You know, because uh, I'm hoping there's only two aliens. I'm hoping they didn't, like, respawn new aliens out of nothing. But they may have, I don't know. So I want to keep these cannons and fast auto cannons and rocket launchers? Yes, please. Oh, we already see the alien. Look at there, he's up in a barn. What's he doing in a barn? Oh. Alright, what I'm going to do is move this guy over here. Out of the way. Who's this? Zelda. Oh, even has blonde hair. That's cool. Alright. Did you ever notice how a lot of Japanese characters look very Western? 
like in their video games and stuff. No line of fire. What if I move here? There's no line of fire now. Yeah, you ever, oh, there you go. Now, if I'm lucky, between all the aliens we killed last time, that would be it. Because we killed, we killed most of them. We killed seven at the last mission. No, there are more aliens. It's quite possible that all the aliens respawned. So let's try to be a little bit more careful this time. We're going to save lots of auto shots. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll move you here. We're going to save lots of auto shots. Not that it matters, the aliens always seem to get their shots off before we do. Yeah, right now, for this one, for this turn, we're just going to, uh... We're just going to get some soldiers out. And try to get them ready, and facing in all directions. So that they can auto-shot, although I don't even think this guy can auto-shot. That cannon. And this one here. Martin Luther King. He's renouncing his pacifism so he can kill some aliens. Alright, have we found the UFO yet? Where's the map screen? Is this it? This is it, I think. We've not found the UFO. It's probably on the other side of the map. Let's go ahead and move forward. We're going to move very slowly. We want to make sure that uh, there are plenty of auto shots. Hopefully we don't have a repeat of the first mission, which went absolutely terribly. So far it's doing pretty good. We've killed two aliens. Get you going up here. But this is the edge of the map, so we don't need to really worry about that. Send Howard Hughes down here. He's a brave soldier to uh, explore the uh, corner. Looks like there's nobody there. We'll get out another soldier. We'll get out Michelle Bachman. She was never that smart, I suppose, so no wonder she's on the front lines getting ready to kill some aliens. With a probability, uh, survive, probable survival rate of uh, basically none. Alright, let's see if all my soldiers die here. Did he get him? I don't think he killed Howard Hughes. But Howard Hughes is there by himself. What is he going to do? Should I escape with him? Nah. Let's move him forward a little bit. There he sees him. Alright, Howard. It's up to you. No line of fire. No line of fire. I'll tell you what, Howard. I'm going to leave your auto shot here. I will send you some backup. Probably is not going to get here before you die. Okay, come on, please. Oscar will come and try to help you. So will uh, Titus from Final Fantasy X. Chances are they're not going to get there. Since there's no line of fire, I'm hoping the alien moves forward, gets shot by an auto shot. But we don't know. And uh, since we know there's an alien here, we might as well just send uh, Zelda up. So maybe this is the last alien. I sure hope so. Oh, well, obviously not. Here's another one. Can he do a snapshot? No, he cannot. But he can crouch. Move you forward. Sarah Palin. 
Can you shoot the alien? No line of fire. No surprise there. A little space between uh, these two. Oh. Well, that was stupid. Happens sometimes. We're going to do... We're going to click this one. That way uh, I can just tell them to go as far as they can. Well, that's uh, not probably going to go very well. Well, he didn't die, amazingly. Well, that was a good shot there. With the cannon. We're going to do an aimed shot, even though that hardly ever works for me. Nope. What about you, Sarah? Oh, there we go, one less alien. Now let's see how dead Howard Hughes is over here. He got shot. He got shot. Oh, no damage at all. He's like a good luck charm. Yes. Well, this mission's going much better. I guess uh, I guess I just got uh, terrible recruits last time. All right, we're gonna move forward. Now, hopefully, that's the last alien. No, it's not the last alien. Of course not. It's never the last alien. There's always more aliens. Have we found the UFO yet? No, we still have not found the UFO. Let's see here. Why don't we get onto all these trees? That way, if an alien comes around, there will be some cover. I'll just move everybody in there. I don't think an alien is going to show up right immediately. Oh, the rocket launcher. Talk about overkill. But hey, if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Come on, Rush. It's time for you to bum rush him. Martin Luther King. He's getting ready. Oh, not enough time units because he's carrying the, the heavy auto cannon. I think that's the auto cannon. All right. moving slowly forward. We're getting close. I think we found the UFO. Oh, there it is. There's the UFO. What I really hate... I'm, I like this game a lot, and I think I like it better. You know, they made a new one. They made a remake, and that was a pretty cool game, too. Also pretty hard. Um, but I think I like this one better. Um... For a lot of reasons. I mean, I think the uh, the world, the map, seems like more open. You have more control over, you know, your production and that kind of stuff. Um, it just feels like a lot more hands-on in this game. Uh, I also didn't like. I guess that uh, that terror increase, you know, in the in the new one. They had they had a thing where uh, every now and again you get three or you get uh, two missions to choose from, and the mission you chose to do you could keep the terror rating down. But the mission you chose not to, the terror rating went up. So it's like automatically you had to you had no choice. You had to like basically uh, not do a mission. So in this in this game you you never you don't, you don't have to skip over any missions. Like, you don't have to make that choice. You can go do one mission, and you can go do the next mission. So I kind of like that better. The one exception that I kind of like the newer one, which is just mainly due to, like, new technology and better game design, 
is sometimes the uh, the aliens in here will hide, and you have no idea where they are. Like, this alien might not be in this ship. It might be... Well, that sound means it's in the ship. But sometimes they're, like, in a barn or something. And you don't know where they are. And you have to search around the map, and they're just standing in one place, not doing anything. And so you might spend... I'm sure it'll happen. We'll, we'll all spend, like, a ton of time looking for this one last alien and never find it for, like, 15 minutes. Or something like that. It's pretty annoying when that happens, but... Otherwise, I do like this. I do like this game a little bit better than the uh, the remake. All right, Sarah Palin, we're gonna get you into position. We're gonna point you there. We're gonna point Howard Hughes here, the luckiest man alive, it seems. We're gonna put this person here. We're gonna face here, and we're gonna put this person here. So if an alien comes out. They're going to be in for a world of hurt. Johnny Depp, you can continue uh, standing pointlessly there. Whoa, three aliens. We'll kill this alien first. Okay, that didn't work out very well. Johnny Depp, your eternal pointless vigil is over. I'm going to send uh, a lot more people in here. Because these guys are not messing around. Alright. I'm going to do one auto shot. That's good. Sarah Palin, I don't really care if you die. So you probably will. Let's see if I can get her out. Can I go here? I'll try to save your life with Howard Hughes. We, uh, well, let's see how much is an auto shot. 21. Out. Yep. Go for it. Man, he did a ton of damage, too. <laughs> the rocket launcher. But this guy, the auto cannon. Oh. Okay, the rocket launcher it is. Maybe. How much is a shot? 37. Well. <laughs> Got him. That's probably it, folks. Yep. Mission accomplished. Got some alien UFO navigation and some alien alloys. I think I did pretty well not uh, not destroying anything with that rocket launcher. It's hard to miss with a rocket launcher, I've come to realize. So, uh, yeah, first successful mission. That went a lot better. Not enough equipment to fully re-equip squad. Well, that's not surprising. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to save here. This will probably be it for today, at least for now. So we're gonna we're gonna save that uh, mission too. Go ahead and save that, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.